Hi everyone and welcome to this video by the Robox Academy. In this video we will look at the pros and cons of using a Vandal Dome style CCTV camera which is one of the three styles that makes up about 99% of cameras on the market. The first thing to bear in mind is when you are looking for this type of camera you are going to come across many many different types of vandal domes but they all fall under the umbrella of a vandal dome which is a plastic normally polycarbonate cover um, and that's what covers the camera mechanism here's three examples of them you can see they vary in size and style the reason for that is the lens and infrared infrared variation so you can see the camera on the very far right the reason it's slightly bigger it's got a bigger base is because it accommodates for a very focal lens so you will generally find that the, the reason for the differing sizes is due to the lens and infrared on the cameras here's another thing you might find again don't let that put you off the reason um, the camera is mounted on a this might look like a pan tilt zoom but it's not it's literally a vandal dome with a right angle bracket so for example when you're mounting in an alleyway and you want to protrude the camera away from the wall this is usually you'll see something like this which is a right angle bracket now let's kick forward with the advantages of using a vandal dome one of the clear advantages is that in the name vandal dome denotes an idea that it's unbreakable um, if you are looking for this style of camera keep an eye out for the international rating known as IK10 that's an international standard of a vandal dome usually what happens with these types of cameras if you take a hammer and try and break it it actually strengthens the the plastic and uh, makes it a very difficult cover to break so in very high risk environments this is a much better choice than even the turret dome so when you've got let's say particular problems you might have in your domestic property or let's say if it's a commercial in like a nightclub where you've got the camera within reach the vandal dome is a much better choice because once the cover is put on you cannot actually move the mechanism unlike the turret dome which can be moved around to some degree Another advantage of the Vandal Dome is that unlike the turret dome you generally can't see what way the lens is facing due to the reflective cover when you look up you generally can't see what lens uh, what way the lens is facing unlike the turret dome so for example if you're a pickpocket and you look up and you can't see what way the camera is facing you're less likely to let's say you know take advantage and, and, and pick some something to steal Another advantage is just like some of the other domes, you can actually mount this on a wall or a ceiling. Now just beware that some cameras don't have this facility. So if you are looking at specifications, just keep an eye out for three axes. That's what allows the camera to be mounted on a wall and the module to be turned around so that it faces the right direction. Now let's start with the disadvantages of a vandal dome. Now a lot of manufacturers won't tell you this but we thought we'd share it with you from two decades of experience in fitting this camera is look at the images and you'll see this is how the camera is actually designed. So you'll see the mechanism has both the lens and infrared unlike the turret dome where the lens and infrared sit separately in the vandal dome it will sit together on the lens mechanism and then it's covered with a vandal resistant bubble now the issue with this is that it's quite high maintenance the vandal dome cover needs to be cleaned regularly and when it's not you're going to see an image like this and that's where dried water stains have settled on the bubble dried up and what ends up happening is the infrareds which are behind the cover end up reflecting back off the dirt and you get a horrible night image like shown in this picture now this shouldn't put you off from using the camera in fact I'm going to give you a solution uh, where we solve this problem and here it is if you have a look at this um, image here both of these images so the left and right are from the same sites so the left hand side is where the camera was initially used with the infrared feature and you can see the ghosting type of 
picture they were getting. Now just bear one thing in mind is that this camera was fitted at a fairly low height. It was fitted on the gate, um, on the pillar, sorry, of a gate in quite a large residential property. And the customer then complained about the, the bad night picture at night. And at that time we decided to switch it over for one that had a low light feature. And you can see there, the sort of cut picture they were getting. So that you can get a nice color image, but just bear one thing in mind is if you are choosing a camera with a low light feature, you do need to have some light there. For example, if you have a look about, you can see various lamps and um, guard lights that are essentially lighting up this image. Now, just bear one thing in mind is that although this camera, the image looks fairly light, if you look at the timestamp, it's at four in the morning, and if you were to physically go to this site, it would have, it's actually a lot darker than what the image is showing. The reason the image appears lighter is due to the camera's processing power, which allows it to illuminate it and give you a nice color image. So that's a solution to the night, common night vision problem with these cameras. So just bear that in mind is that when you are looking for this type of camera and you definitely have no option but to use this due to it being in a high vulnerable area, just make sure you have some accompanying light and go for a low light technology. Uh, manufacturers call it all sorts of things, but the easiest way to check out is if you have a look at the color on, on the specification, it will give you a lux level. The lower the light, the brighter the image the more sensitive the camera at night. So just bear that in mind. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or um, for other ideas or videos that we could make for you, please drop a comment in the box and please share and like this video with anyone else who might be interested. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a lovely day.